Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start today's information. These are some updates on the RAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. I wrapped up this week talking about all the progress that has been made. What has been done since January? Big things like joining the World Trade Organization as an observer status which has been ongoing since 2004, in February to August we see they are gearing up for full ascension to the WTO and this is a big deal. They will be out in the world economy again and in the global financial system. My understanding is they have the security and stability in the country. Enough that we can see all the countries making deals and doing things with Iraq. Iraq is going to make a lot of money, once they have an Article 8 exchange rate. That is required, for full ascension, all of us will have a different venue in a short period of time. Question, what do you think the rate should be? You have to understand this is a Middle Eastern currency. Do you think it should have the value it has now? Of course not, Saudi Arabia what's your exchange rate to the dollar? Three dollars plus. UAE what's your exchange rate to the dollar? Three dollars plus. Saudi Arabia. What's your exchange rate to the American dollar? Three dollars plus. Do you get my point? If they lift three zeros that's still not enough because that would be at a one to one. They need this thing to float, Emo I think the Iraqi dinar will at least come out at one to one because that's what they say. Then I believe deep Emo they are going to float this currency. That's when it's going to get tough on you. You're going to be so tempted to go to the bank and exchange everything you've got at 1 to 1. Wouldn't you like to exchange at 2 to 1? 3 to 1? I believe 1 to 1 is their goal but the hard part is for you to decide if you want to exchange at a higher exchange rate. The CBI needs to free itself and move to IMF Article 8 but in order for that to occur they need to meet IMF compliance before they can accept Article 8. Part of that compliance is maintaining the exchange rate within 2%, Iraq has had trouble doing this. Until they figure out how to make a stable exchange rate within country I don't see them accepting obligations of Article 8. As far as Iraq revaluing their currency there is no more problems, if they're going to be regional you've got to look at Iran, Saudi Arabia. All these local currencies, and you can average out the value of the currencies of the Middle East. They need to maintain that balance. Either way it's going to be a major revaluation. With the extended holiday this week between now and Thursday the indicators seem to be really coming together. We see that 1132 rate all the time behind the scenes, but the CBI has a different rate that is published. 